Hey guys, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's Daryl here. It's bright and early 7 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast, okay? Today I need to talk about what happened in Aurora, Colorado, the two police officers, what happened to Kyle Dinson. That was the man that was on the uh, receiving end of this bully, and that's all he was. I don't, I, I don't want to jump into it too quick here. I want to talk about what happened here. Um, I can't talk too much about it because it was the... the the links will be down below. Uh, the video, the, the vest cams, the one thing I can credit the Aurora Police Department for is they immediately admitted the horrific atrocity that was committed by these this one particular officer and the other officer who did nothing about it. And they immediately put out the videos of the vest cams. And if you could find the actual videos here on YouTube from the Aurora, Colorado Police Department, um, you can't share them. They're adult, adult-only videos because of the violence in them. All right. Uh, like I said, I can't even describe. The links will be down below. Most of you probably heard of what happened here. Uh, basically, there was three men. There was a tres Supposedly, there was a trespassing call. People were trespassing. Uh, two police showed up. Uh, and two of the subjects, there was three subjects. Two of them ran. And Kyle Vincent was the man that just stayed there, sat there. And the two officers approached him, and just I can't even I can't even put into words what they did to this guy. There was no need for it whatsoever. Um, okay, what I want to talk about in this video is I want to talk I want to kind of compare because yesterday I talked about more or less the opposite. I talked about the the four Capitol Police officers testifying, and they were on the opposite end of what I call just bullying, aggression, predators. And in this instance, it's uh, police, uh, police officers being the aggressors, the, the predators, the aggressors, the bullies. Um, and it's the same dynamics in both situations. I want to talk a little bit about that. I, I, for the people that know my channel, you know my history. Uh, I don't say this with any amount of pride, but I've been clean and sober for 15 years. And that's the part I'm proud about. But uh, I, I was involved in, uh, you know, being, having to, to, to function on the streets. I was involved in a lot of altercations throughout my whole life. And being a tall, larger person, I, 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 I had to learn how to, uh, to fight, to street fight. And I've probably been in over 60 or 80 altercations. A good portion of them I lost, probably I'd say 50%. I have learned so much more from every fight that I lost. I want to say this too. In every instance that I lost, I was in the wrong. I was almost always in the wrong. I was almost always intoxicated. And to this day, the, the winner of those fights, I, I am good friends with almost every person that I lost the fight to. Because I, after the, the altercation, I would admit that I was wrong, that I got my, my, uh, my butt handed to me. And, uh, and that was it. And to this day, uh, I'm on good terms with the people that I've lost fights to, and I've learned a lot through that. And I want to talk a little bit about that. What we see here, what do you see here, is a bully. In this, uh, what happened in Aurora, Colorado. I don't quite have the the name of the policeman right here, and I, I don't even want to know it. I don't want to give this guy any. Uh, I don't know his name in particular. If you see his picture, I don't want to judge a book by its cover. But after these 55 years of dealing the situations I've been in one look at that it's not it's it's the aura that he gives off if you see the, the picture you see the picture in the links down below of this police officer and he gives off an aura without a doubt if I saw this guy walking down the street red flags would go up immediately even if he was in a police uniform this guy has no business being an officer being an authority uh, being being in any type of authority whatsoever all right in the situation that happened in Aurora, Colorado, you had basically, you have alpha males that are bullies. Not all alpha males are bullies, but this, this is, this is a, an alpha male that's a bully, an aggressor, a predator. In the situation that happened in January, you'll have a couple of these alphas, these leaders that incite the rest of the bunch and lead them in. Uh, and this is the kind of dynamic that I have no respect for, too. Because usually when you, you pull any one of these people aside, 
they have no confidence in themselves to 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 stick up for themselves to 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 state their their grievance. Only when they're in a mob situation do they do they get brave. That's not true though with the the alpha predators. Um, I've dealt with a lot of these people throughout my life. I'm going to be honest here with you guys. Like I said, I've sat down with most of the guys that I've lost to. And this is what I found. Seriously. Almost every one of them. This is an excuse, but this is the truth. Almost every one of these bullies, these predators, were in a broken homes. Uh, violent situations when they were children. Usually with alcoholic fathers. Seriously. This is, I found this almost in every case. Like I said, I, I've sat down and talked to a lot of the guys that I've lost to. And this is something that truly that I found. Um, they're they're, they're kind of conditioned to, to this life of violence. Um, then there's the rest of us. Now, when I first started coming out on top, you know, learning how to handle myself, I have to admit, I'll be honest with you guys, I, I got this I, I got this feeling a couple times. You get a feeling of power over somebody, and that's what we see in this video. This is what bullies, bullies don't realize this though. Bullies thrive on this, that feeling of power. When they see somebody else, when they're, when they're interacting with somebody like this, and they see the other person back down, like Kyle Vincent in this, in this police video, you hear his voice go up. It, it, it's he, he's subconsciously begging for his life. You hear his voice go up. It's, you ever see a dog like roll over on its back, exposing its belly? It's, it's being uh, being submissive, and without a doubt, that's what Kyle Vincent was doing, trying to beg for his life because he had no power in the situation. Bullies, predators like this police officer. There's people out there that thrive on this, that when they see that, they go in further. They mistake this for some kind of power. Um, like I said, when I first started getting winning in altercations, I got the urge to do this a few times. Like when you, you, you know, somebody messes with me and I come out on top. And you are, at that point, you are in control of the situation. The other person is down. And they are more or less at your mercy. And there's been a few times, I admit, you know, in my earlier days, where I was tempted to, to, to go along with this, to push it a little too far. There's no, for most normal people, there, there's no joy in this. Um, it, it's, it's not an act of courage. It's an act of cowardice. It's an act of bullying, aggression, and, and being a predator. That's what you see in this video. That's exactly what you see in this video with this police officer. He had complete control of the situation and he was thriving on Kyle Vincent just being submissive and having no power. That is the act of a bully. This man has no business being in any position of authority. In January, the people in the crowd, when they dragged those officers out, and it was that mob mentality they had control over those officers. Those officers, there were so many people that they were completely at the mercy of these crowds. And it was the same dynamic again. A predator, bully, aggressive situation. Um, this, is, this is just the, the lowest form of character, of cowardice, in my opinion. Um, when a man's down, he's down. Um, these officers, they have, they have no business being called officers, ever being in a position of authority. Uh, these, these, specifically this one officer uh, is nothing but a predator. That's all he is. He has no, there's no business. These are the people that need to be weeded out through some kind of system. Uh, I'm not specifically talking about defunding the police, but these exact personality types have no business ever being a police officer. I don't believe they change. I don't believe, I believe there's just some dynamic in these people that make them predators. And people like this have no business being a, a police officer. <laughs> I can feel my adrenaline going up as I talk about this. 
All right, I'll be back later. I can't let these videos go on for too long because I found I've been having a hard time downloading the longer videos. So I'm trying to keep them a little shorter. All right, I'll be back later with another video. You guys have a great Thursday.